welcome, shall we observe the sun? Why right? A minor CME hit Earth's magnetic field this morning at 3.03 Coordinated Universal Time. It could be the first of several CME strikes in the days ahead. NOAA forecasters say their cumulative effect could cause strong G3 class geomagnetic storms, especially on August 18 through the 19. On this model, can be observed, the concentration of elevated ions fluctuating in the upper atmosphere. Solar X-ray flux which causes impact events on HF radio communication. Here is a coupled whole atmosphere model of ionosphere, plasmosphere, and electrodynamics, which provides a specification of ionosphere, and thermosphere conditions with forecasts two days in advance in response to solar, geomagnetic, and lower atmospheric forcing. The higher, intensity areas, are color-coded, in yellows and reds. This solar flare classification chart, showing the last 24 hours of flare activity, where 3M class flares have occurred thus far. The second to the last flare was an M2.5. On this SDO211 filter, the areas where the eruptions are occurring is easy to be seen. Here is a closer view of the area. Up next is the latest CME, to erupt today, it also comes from the same area as the rest, observed through the LASCOC2 filter. A comet with two tails. Something special is happening to Comet C, 2017 K2. It's about to plunge through Earth's orbital plane, aka, the ecliptic. The passage is giving us a rare view of the comet's two tails. Gerald Riemann took the picture on August 15 using a 12-inch telescope in Farm Tivoli, Namibia. It shows comet K2's dust tail pointing left, and its gaseous ion tail pointing down almost 90 degrees away. All comets have two tails. Think about the material vaporizing from a comet's nucleus. It's a mixture of gas and dust. Lightweight gas is blown straight away from the sun by solar wind. Heavier dust lags behind, more closely tracing the comet's orbit. And as always, sit back, relax, and let me keep my eye on the sun for you. 